I got a new Amazon product in the mail today that I am going to take for a test run in today's freeze drying video using our Harvest Right freeze dryer. One thing that I love to do in my videos is test out Amazon gadgets. I like finding things on Amazon that I can use to either help make freeze drying easier or to help make it fun. And today's gadget is going to be more on the fun side. I will show you what I got. They are these cute little ice molds made out of silicone and they are just the cutest shapes. This one here is flowers, more flowers. This one is roses. We've got hearts. We've got more flowers and we've got stars. This pack of six silicone molds was $13.99. Not a terrible price for how cute these little molds are. I think these are gonna be so fun. Can you guess what I'm gonna to try to freeze dry in these molds? If you guessed ice cream, you were right. When I was a kid, I was always fascinated by space food. Like, what astronauts could eat in outer space? And I thought it was so cool that they could eat ice cream in outer space. And the way they did that was with freeze-dried ice cream. At least that's what I was told. So I've been wanting to do some freeze-dried ice cream for my kids. They're going to love it. And I thought it would be so fun to try to do it in these little molds to have cute little ice cream bites. I'm hoping this is going to turn out the way I am planning in my head. But, you know, I'm always experimenting over here. But I think this could be fun. So my game plan to get the ice cream into the molds is I am going to just completely melt the ice cream. I, that's the only way I can figure to get them into the molds and to get them to form to the proper shapes. I'm gonna melt them, pour them in the molds and then stick them in the freeze dryer like that. I've got six molds and three flavors. So each flavor is gonna have two molds. I decided to go with Rocky Road. My daughter loves Rocky Road. Wesley loves mint chocolate chip, so we got that for one of them. And Lincoln, well, all my kids love cotton candy ice cream, so cotton candy was the other flavor I got. Because of how small these are, you definitely don't need like huge gallons of ice cream. I'm sure that's still gonna be way too much, but that's okay. I'm excited to try this out. So it looks like I'm gonna have a leftover tray, which I feel like is a cardinal sin to leave real estate in your freeze dryer, but I don't really have anything else to put here. So I think I'm just gonna do the three trays and just be sad about the fact that I'm wasting some space, but oh well, not a huge deal. I'm gonna get my freeze dryer cooling down before I go and get my ice cream melted. So let's take a look at the settings. I'm gonna go into customize, I'm gonna hit reset. And I am good with the general settings as usual. I like to add extra dry time for if it ever ends like in the middle of the night or something, it'll just keep freeze drying until I'm ready to get it out. So that's what I like to do. I'm gonna hit start, then we wait our 15 minute cool down. I'm gonna run upstairs, get these melted, and then I will meet you right back here in a flash. Ah! I'm back, the magic of TV. I've got melted ice cream. How I did this was super easy. I took a few scoops out of the top and microwaved each one, 30 seconds, stirred it, 30 more seconds, and it was completely melted perfectly. I took scoops out of the top just so that it wasn't like gonna overflow or anything. And while I was up there, I remembered that I have this just normal square silicone ice tray so what i'm gonna do is if i have any extra ice cream left over i will fill it in here and use this tray so no wasted real estate today i am so tired today i stayed up way too late last night and it's kind of funny what i got sucked into and what kept me up so late last night and you know what i've decided I'm gonna let you guys guess what kept me up so late last night past my bedtime and why I'm just like dragging today, but I don't regret it. <laughs> and it's not anything nasty. So don't have your minds in the gutter. 
but that's gonna be Brooke's trivia corner question of the day. What kept me up late past my bedtime last night? I think nobody's gonna guess it, but I don't know. I wanna know what you think I was doing and I will tell you at the end of the video what the answer is. Anyway, moving on. I'm gonna get the ice cream in the molds. I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me doing this. I have no idea if I'm gonna get messy. I brought some damp paper towels to clean up any little spills that I have, but wish me luck. Let's get this going. Okay, I finally did it. That was a labor of love. There's gotta be an easier way to get the, in, the ice cream into the molds because they just got kind of messy. I was able to clean them up well enough. These rocky roads look so good because they have little marshmallows in some of them and I think that's gonna be super fun. This is the mint chip, this is the cotton candy, and this is the extra leftovers. Our freeze dryer is ready to load so I am going to close the drain valve first and then I'm gonna get these loaded up. And just like that, our ice cream is now freezing and it is gonna finish its whole freeze drying cycle. It'll be done sometime tomorrow. I'll let you guys know exactly how long this took to completely remove the moisture. And this is gonna be fun. I wanted to remind you of the giveaway I am going to do when I hit 2,000 subscribers. I am getting close and if you hit the subscribe button that'll get me closer to that goal and you'll be able to find out when I reach it and make the announcement of the giveaway. So there's that. I also wanted to let you know if you don't have a freeze dryer yet and you are wanting to join me in all of the fun Hit the link in my video description below. That'll take you to Harvest Right, where you can check out freeze dryers. They also sell accessories on their website too, which are all great. Harvest Right just came out with a new freeze dryer called the Harvest Right Pro. I am definitely excited about that. It's just an updated version of the freeze dryer that I have and most of you who already have one probably already have. I'm hoping to get my hands on a new one. We will see. But now is a good time to buy a freeze dryer if you have been on the fence about it. I've got a link in the video description below. Don't forget to check them out. Okay, remember how I said I was tired? It's time to go to bed. <laughs> but look how funny. It's, um, let me show you how light it is outside. 9.20 p.m. Here's the Alaskan sun. We had a rainy morning, but the sun came out this afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, this is my little window in my freeze drying room that this is in the basement, but we're technically above the ground, well, halfway. And we ended up having a really nice day today. We were bummed that we woke up to rain, but it turned out really nice. The I can tell the nights are starting to get a little bit longer because a few weeks ago, it was still like bright as day outside at 9.20 at night. Now it's like a little more dusk feeling, <laughs> but that's kind of sad because that means winter is getting closer. That's all right, we will survive and I'll get to show you fun wintry Alaskan things. So I guess there's something to look forward to. I will catch you guys tomorrow and hope you all have a great night. Hello, it is the next day. Let me tell you, it's been a hectic day today, but that's okay. I'm finally getting to my freeze dryer. I've had to keep increasing the extra dry time on here because I've not had time to get on and film and get this ice cream out of the freeze dryer. It's a little shocking what happened to the ice cream. I mean, I'm gonna just have to show you so you could see what happened. I was not expecting this. First, I wanna know if the sound sounds any different in my videos today because I just attached a new speaker to my GoPro that I'm hoping makes the sound a little bit better. I just got this media mod for my GoPro it's supposed to give off better sound and I can actually now attach a separate microphone to it if I decide I need to do that. So I'm excited to hear how the sound sounds in this half of the video compared to the previous half. I know right now the 
freeze dryer is buzzing, so it's gonna sound weird anyway, but we will pay attention and <laughs> figure all that out. But hopefully this helps improve the sound quality in my videos. Can I just show you the mess I have made in here? I think one of my main mistakes was not pre-freezing the ice cream. I put it in there melted and it looks like it caused a mess when the vacuum pump turned on. So note to self, pre-freeze this stuff. <laughs> and I also wasn't planning on the ice cream expanding. I feel like one other time I have done ice cream just like with a scoop and it did not expand, at least not that I could tell. So these kind of expanded and made messes that way too, but that's okay. This is our learning process and I think it's still gonna taste great. Here is our ice cream. The cotton candy is the one that made the biggest mess. I will, we will see what happened with that. Here is the mint. That one seems okay. The Rocky Road definitely got some puffage happening. This was just the extra, but this is crazy. I'm gonna try to pop these out of the little, what are they called, molds? Silicone molds <laughs> and see how they look. I had high, high hopes for these and they're a little sad, <laughs> but that's okay. They're still gonna taste good, but they're just not the beautiful little ice cream bites that I had hoped, but oh well, <laughs> let's see. Here they are. Aren't they precious? <laughs> Some of them turned out okay. Like that one's pretty dang cute. There's a few mint ones that are okay. There's even a few cotton candy ones that are okay. This little guy turned out kind of cute. Um, the stars are kind of okay. The hearts, eh, not so much, but <laughs> they're gonna taste good, right? They're just not as beautiful as I hoped. Okay, I need to grab my kids and we are gonna do a taste test. We unfortunately are not gonna make it to any exciting Alaskan locations today, but we will go outside in the sunshine and do our taste test because it has been a beautiful day. A very busy day, but a beautiful day. We spent our day back to school shopping with the kiddos. We went to the mall in Anchorage, Got a few things there, came home. I've been painting our gymnastics area in our basement. As we were painting, uncovered a patch of mold. So now we're dealing with that, which is quite a bummer. We do have a plumber coming to take a look at the leak that we found and to try to remedy the situation. But <laughs> I just noticed um, I've got paint in my hair which now makes it look like I've got a nice little gray patch of hair, if you can still see it there. So ignore that. <laughs> but our kids do start school next week. They're pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> and so yeah, we're just gearing up for school, getting all the kiddos ready, all that stuff. Are your kids in school? I think most schools have started by now. Well, I don't know, maybe not, but <laughs> we're getting there. I decided to pack some up in a Mylar bag just to have on hand whenever our kiddos want a little sweet treat. I stuck a couple oxygen absorbers in there and heat sealed it closed. Even though they're not like perfectly fancy, I still think they look really pretty just like in this little bag. So not a total fail, right? They're still fun and adorable. Let's go head up, find those kiddos to give them a taste test, see how these taste, and I'm gonna give you the answer to the trivia question. Well, I found the kids. Our trampoline is temporarily in the front yard while we're having that dirt work in the backyard. And look how cute they are. Show us some tricks, guys. I'm gonna taste test. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let the kids each choose the flavor they wanna try first. Bria's going for Rocky Road. Wessie? Rocky Road? Heart. I know, heart. do you like the shapes? Aren't they kind of cute? They didn't all turn out great, but... Mine's a star! Ah, five second roll. Mine's a star! <laughs> okay, go. Yeah. Mm. Mm. How's it taste? 
Gabe, how did he make the shapes? Remember those molds we got on Amazon? Um, yep. Mint chip. Go. Yum. Mm. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, last is cotton candy. Mm. Um, is that kind of a fun way to eat ice cream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you just grab another one. Yes. Okay, I'm going for a rocky road that's got marshmallow in it. Mmm. Crunchy, airy, melts in your mouth when you start to eat it. Gives you the normal ice cream flavor. That is such a fun little treat. I think if you try it, you're gonna love it. Okay, are you ready for the answer to the trivia question? Bria, the trivia question was, what did I stay up so late last night doing? Well, I guess this was two nights ago. The answer is, drum roll. Filming. No, but well, that was last night, yes. Night before, no. I was watching the Taylor Swift concert live streamed on TikTok. She filmed for two hours. <laughs> I accidentally screen recorded the entire thing. I was trying to just screen record the Shake It Off song because she wanted to see it. And she forgot. And I forgot to end it and I had a two hour long video and of she the Taylor recorded, Swift concert. She recorded herself playing a puzzle. Okay. <laughs> I did not get to go to the Taylor Swift concert. She unfortunately did not come to Alaska, how rude. My sister and her daughter got to go in Phoenix and said it was amazing. Um, so when I was on TikTok, saw people were just like video live streaming the entire thing. I started watching it for like five minutes and then could not stop. I just had to keep seeing what song came next. And it was so fun. I loved getting to see it. The Swifty fans are a whole nother level of like fan people. It was kind of funny, but looked like lots of fun. Let me know if you got to go to the Taylor Swift concert. I am jealous of you if you did. Welp, thanks for watching today's freeze drying adventure. It was an adventure, that's for sure. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but it still turned out cute and fun. Yeah. Kiddos so. enjoyed it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it. If you have done ice cream, we let me know. We yes. We really wanted to have a fishy out of the chalk. Oh, right. Okay. Well, we will see you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.